Hello, how are you all doing? My name is Enrique and today we're going to be making an updated guide on the best OBS settings for low-end PC. As the last guide that I made have received so much comments and questions, I have decided to create an updated version of it to help you guys to get the best recording quality settings on OBS specially made for low-end PCs. Let's get started. Go on and open OBS. On the right hand down corner, click on settings. In here, go into the output tab in the left. And remember to change the output mode for simple to advanced. Now, go right here into the recording tab. For the recording format, you can use any that you find yourself more comfortable, but I would recommend to use MP4 because it's one of the most widely used video formats. In two audio tracks, I will recommend that you use one or two at max. It's good to have two if you want to have the audio coming from the microphone and the one coming from your game or system separately, but don't go so overboard. The more audio tracks you have, the heavier the load is going to be on your computer. Now, let's speak about the encoder. This depends on the computer that you have on your PC. If your PCs have a discrete graphic card, I will recommend to use the encoder related to it. So for Nvidia, it will be Invec and for AMD H264. But if you don't have them or your CPU is more powerful than your GPU, I recommend for most low-end PCs to use the X264 encoder option that is going to use the power of your CPU to make the capturing and encoding of the video. Leave the custom mixer settings and the RISC-L output option as they are. In to rate control, I recommend to use CBR for most cases because in here you can set a constant bitrate on your recordings and it's not going to go above or underneath the one that you set up. Into the bitrate itself, it depends on the format and frames per second that you are going to be recording. For 720p, anywhere from 2500 to 3500, for 1080p, 3500 to 4500, and if your PC can handle it, or for mid-end PCs, 5500, to 7500 and if you have a really high-end PCs and of course a bigger resolution of your screen you can set it anywhere from 8000 all the way up to 20,000 keeping in mind that the higher the bitrate the more performance you're going to ask from your PC but it's also going to be a smoother and better quality picture if you want to use a custom buffer size I recommend that you set it at 35,000 but if you have any problems you can simply like me have it on check into keyframe intervals you want to have the setting at zero. Now, let's set the CPU usage preset to super fast or ultra fast. The faster the preset that you use is, it will require less amount of performance from your CPU, but it will be less quality video. So try first super fast, and if you are still having issues, then ultra fast. Now, in profile, you want to set it into high, and you want to set the tune to zero latency. For the next part, I will post on the description of this video the best option that I have found to be used with the X264 encoder. You you have to copy them and paste them into the options windows inside of OBS. You want to copy this first line right here and paste it. And now I'm going to let you guys with two options. One is made more towards video quality, zero latency quality right here, and the second one to improve performance. You can only have active one of them at a time, but you can try them both separately and do some testing to see which one works best for you. Just remember to leave a space between the first line and the second line that you choose when you are adding it to OBS, like right here. Now click on Apply to save the changes and let's go into the Audio tab. On here, let's set the audio bitrate for all the tracks to 160. This will give you a constant audio quality between your tracks if you use more than one. 160 is a middle point between sound quality and performance, but you could try opening this up if you have headroom and you want the audio to be a little bit more crisp. Apply the changes once more, and now go right here into the left side into the audio tab. You want to, you want to set your sample rate to 44.1 kHz? And we are done right here, you can also apply the changes and let's go into the video tab. Set the base canvas resolution to the highest available. This will mostly depend on your monitor resolution and make sure that is an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 for optimal viewing in your recordings, mostly videos in YouTube and on, if you are going to be streaming on Twitch, use the video format, it's the most widely available. Now into output scale resolution, I recommend you to use the same as your canvas. If you're struggling, of course, you can set it a little bit downwards, always making sure that the aspect ratio stays the same. So if you are recording a 1080p video, to set it at the same. 
it will give you the best quality, but if you're having problems on your recordings, you can set downscale to 720p, it will require less processing power from your PC. Into downscale filter, the best one that I have found is Lanzos, 36 samples to have the best video quality. Now, into the frames per second, you want to be sure that you use common FPS values and set it at 60 frames per second for a smoother video, or 30 if you're having issues with 60, it will also look great, you're not going to have problems with this. Just a small but really important note, especially if you guys are going to be recording gameplay, is to set the maximal frames per second of the game that you wish to record to the same ones that you're using on OBS. Because if you have, for example, a recording at 60 frames per second and your game is running, let's say, 78, you are going to have some serious choppiness in your video that it will look like if you have some lag. So don't forget about this because it's really, really important. You can apply the changes once more and now let's jump into the advanced tab. You want to set right here the process priority to above normal. This will assure that Windows will prioritize OBS before other processes that are running to give you the best performance. Into video renderer, you want to leave it in Direct 3D 11 if you have any more options because this one is going to give you the best quality. Color format set it into NV12, color space into 709, and color range to partial or full. You can test both and see what you prefer. Click on apply all the changes and we are done. Do a couple of test recordings and modify some values accordingly. If you still have any problems or questions, leave them in the comments, I always try to answer you all. If you find the video useful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, it's free and this will really help the channel out. Thanks for watching my friends and like always, See you on the next time. Bye bye.